What's up? And welcome back to Dose. We have a very special episode today. We're here at the Supra NYC flagship store with photographer Mike Miller on the occasion of his book signing and exhibition here at the store. Well, Supra came to me uh, through an old friend of mine, Dante Ross, and we um, doing a collaboration, which is really cool because they're using mostly my gallery images, or only my gallery images, like this one and the one behind. We're doing a limited edition, uh, two shirts in Paris. We just got back from there, and we're doing two shirts in New York and then two in L.A. We're opening up the flagship store in Los Angeles coming up December 6th. So I'm here in New York um, for this show. It's my first show, my first book signing, so, you know, I'm really appreciative and uh, uh, grateful. Supra, thank you. Um, with such a, a deep career in both, you know, fashion and hip-hop, mm-hmm. uh, it seems incredible to me that you've never actually exhibited your work here in New York City. Uh, how's that? Because I got flown here to work. <laughs> I've never really exhibited my work anywhere. In my book is the first time I showed, like on the cover, for instance. It's the first time I ever showed that shot of Tupac playing craps. You know, I'm a working photographer. I didn't really care about putting my name out there that much, as long as the um, art directors knew me and the record labels um, back in the day. And that was pretty much my focus. It's like a small circle, and, and I was in it. So the public wasn't, you know, I'd, hey, I, I love it now to show all my work that I've been stored in my garage. Can you just walk us through some of your favorite images and uh, maybe some of the stories behind them? Yeah, um, well, there was like, like Tupac was funny because we were doing Thug Life. It was a Mo Prime, Big Psych, Rated R, and, and the Thug Life cover. He wanted his homies. It was the first time he was able to like have so much uh, pool that he can do a, an album with the, the kids he grew up, his stepbrother and all that stuff. So he came to me and he goes, listen, I don't want my face shown, period. And I'm like, oh, dude, what are you talking about? And so I pulled out my fisheye, of course, and like he's lifting up his belly, and I got some dope shots like that. But, you know, my days are long, and I do like uh, a good 10 hours minimum. And we have like, you know, front, back cover, inside packaging, singles, publicity, merchandising. So there's a lot of shots I got to get. So towards the end of the day, we, we clicked, and um, he started giving me like a couple shots, one frame. That's all he gave me. Click, done. So it was really, uh, it was challenging. At the same time, he was a, a true visionary in the way he knew what he wanted. Like, he'd say, everybody run, and then he'd get lost in the shot. And that was really cool. Where's Tim Dog? If you're in Paris, if you're in New York, if you're in L.A., get to the Superstore, check out the exhibition. Mike Miller, Supra, get that limited edition tea, get a book. copy of the book. West Coast Hip Hop, History and Pictures. Do the math. Oh, yo, um, my Instagram's Mike Miller Photo, and I have a documentary coming out, The Influence of West Coast Hip Hop. I got all the artists. It's how uh, hip hop influenced music, art, style, and it's all in there, everybody. If you love hip hop, check it out. Please. Thank you. Peace. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, man.